I'm optimistic about the future because I have an unshakable belief in human ingenuity, the ability to be innovative, to be creative. Good day. I want to commend Mr. Rashidi Sumaili for keeping President Nelson Mandela's name and legacy alive. And so much better if that investment is in the lives of the younger generation. I'm optimistic about the future because I have an unshakable belief in human ingenuity, the ability to be innovative, to be creative, we are at a very difficult place at the moment, but it is not the first time that as the human race, we are where we are now. After the flu pandemic uh, in the 1918s, um, we were despondent, but the human race responded by being creative, innovative, accepting the challenges. And the result was the roaring twenties, economies growing, new innovations, we have the same challenge now. The challenge for the younger generation is to provide leadership, to accept the responsibility to be leaders, be it in the economy, politics, education, community work. Uh, there are challenges all over. One of the best definitions that I have ever heard of leadership is that Leadership is the ability to be on your way somewhere, to know where that somewhere is, but also have the ability to convince people to join you on that journey. When I was a young person, our country, South Africa, was still divided. We had a policy of apartheid. Black people and white people were divided, separate residential areas, separate schools, almost no contact. And in the 1980s, when I was a student, I accepted the responsibility to challenge this conventional wisdom. And I led uh, a number of delegations made up by white students to meet with black students, not only in South Africa, but also with the liberation movements, which at that stage were banned from the country. And I have no doubt that in a small way that contributed to a better understanding in our country. I also had the privilege in serving in our first democratic parliament from 1994. Uh, well, I was there for 25 years, but for the first five years, um, I served there with Mr. Nelson Mandela as our first democratic president, the father of our nation. And Yes, there are many lessons that one learned from him. But for me, one of the most important lessons is the ability to put yourself in the shoes of your interlocutor, of your opponent, and to understand why that person takes that position. And I have no doubt that over the decades, that is what provided the opportunities in our country to find solutions. Because we had a leader like President Mandela, who had that rare ability to not only think about his own agenda, what he wanted to achieve, his objectives, his organization's objectives, but also understanding what actually was behind what his opponents and interlocutors wanted. Uh, and that is a rare ability. And that, I feel, is sometimes what we miss in the world now. Leaders with that ability to understand his or her interlocutor and at the same time have the ability to find solutions. All of the best with your initiative and I wish you every success. Thank you.